peeps, welcome to my channel. I am Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. But today I'm back with a brand new Get The Look tutorial. Um, I created this look which isn't anything super unique or inventive. It's kind of your typical Agape Love Girl kind of look, minus the glitter, but you guys know these are like the tones I, 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 I just love and reach for, so I apologize. It's nothing super unique or amazing, but I created this look using the Alamar Cosmetics um, palette that I received in the, what is it, the June Boxy Charm box. Um, and of course it does have a few pops of color with this kind of like turquoise greenish shade and then this uh, deeper blue shade. But it's got these warmer tones in here and these colors up here that are just so, so beautiful. Um, and I've seen a lot of people do looks with this palette and almost everybody is reaching for these, you know, blue shades. And I thought about doing that, but I was like, you know what? I, when I first swatched them and I swatched this gold, I was like, oh, Dang, like I just, I have to, I have to do something with this gold and while yes, it just creates a look that is just so typical of me, I couldn't help it. There's tons of other um, tutorials already out there using the, the other shades, so you know, you could pull inspiration from those, but if you want to see um, kind of how this palette performs um, and my perspective on it and how I created this look, then this, this video is for you. Now, as I already said, I received this in a, my BoxyCharm box for June. So if you're subscribed to BoxyCharm, you got this palette, but you can also purchase this palette, um, you know, outside of BoxyCharm. It is from Alamar Cosmetics, as I said, which is a, a fairly new brand, I believe, um, from a gal who also works for BoxyCharm, so she has her own cosmetics line now. Um, and so this is a $28 palette. I have the information from BoxyCharm here. And the palette was inspired by the beauty and culture of Cuba, which is where the owner is from. And I do think it's a really beautiful palette. The um, mattes in here are just beautiful. They're pigmented, very creamy, blend very easy, just a really a dream to work with and even these um, metallic shades are just so pigmented as you saw from the swatch um, there's another one I'll do the blue ones since I already showed the but I mean goodness gracious this one this they swatch beautifully let me just do this very very amazing to work with might as well go into that gold there too um, Oh my god, gosh, can you see that? Like, l with little effort, I did use a start out with this gold on my lid dry and then went in to wet it just to um, give it more of a foiled effect, but you can use them dry and they show up very, very well. So anyways, I don't want to ramble on and on about this. Some of you guys might already know about this palette, have been, are familiar with, like, you know, the BoxyCharm reviews and things like that. But if you're not, I'll put more information if you'd like to learn more about um, this palette and that brand in the description box. Definitely check down there. Um, in addition, I am wearing some lashes, some new lashes, something different for once, <laughs> and that is because we also received some lashes in the BoxyCharm box the, um, last month, I guess, technically now, um, so I decided to use those too. But uh, anyways, with all that being said, let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to start off first by taking the shade Coco Taxi into my crease with the Smith 230 brush. Now I'm just going to take the shade Guantanamera and place that just a little bit lower into my crease. Going back in with the Smith 230 brush, I am going to be focusing a lot more of the pigment on the inner and outer corners of my eyes. Alright, now I'm going to go into the shade El Malecon and I'm just going to be taking that on a flat synthetic brush. This is the Morphe M170-6 and I'm going to be applying that on my lid. I really just love this gold shade. It's just, it's, oh my gosh, it's stunning. I mean, it has to be the, the main feature of this, of this look. Okay, and I am applying this without spraying it first and I don't even have primer on and wow it's going on so beautifully so creamy and so pigmented oh, I think it's stunning 
All right, and even though it's laying down really, really well without being sprayed, I am gonna go ahead and just try it now um, with a little bit of spray and see how that looks. All right, and as to be expected, it applies a lot more foiled looking. Um, the pigmentation is still just as good, but just gives more of a foiled look and it's just blending on the lid a little bit easier, so I, I really like that. So I think I'm just gonna continue to spray my brush and apply just a little bit more, just build up the pigmentation a little bit more. Definitely don't, don't think it needs to be sprayed, but I just am liking the way it's applying a little bit better that way. Okay, now just taking this kind of small, flat, tapered brush, it's just like a flat shader from Bodyography. And I'm just going to go back into the shade Guantanamera and take that just slightly to the inner and outer corners of my eyes just to help blend those so they don't look so harsh. And now just with that same shade, I'm going to go in with a very, very much so smaller blending brush. This is the Morphe M562 and I'm just going to um, blend a little bit of that over top um, of my crease. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of that and Coco Taxi too. This stuff is definitely not necessary. It's just something. It's just something that I kind of want to do just to soften up that, because I kind of made it look almost like cut creasy, and I just want to soften it up a little bit. Now, going into the shade Cafecito, I'm going to take a flat definer brush. This one is from Beauty Junkies, and run that on my lower lash line. Now with that tiny blending brush I used earlier, I'm going to go back into both Coco Taxi and Guantanamera again and just de blend, <laughs> blend and diffuse um, that lower lash line. Alright, here's what we got going on with the look so far. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera, then I'll pop back in to finish the look, add some lashes we'll go from there. All right, I got the rest of my face on and now I'm going to finish up the eyes. I'm going to add one last shadow to my eyes. I'm going to be using the shade La Costa as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. And if you can tell, that's actually the highlight that I have on my face. It is such a stunning shade, um, beautiful as a highlight and face highlight as well as for the eyes. And I'm going to be taking that on a pencil brush from Beauty Junkies. Alright, now before I move on to lashes, I am just going to line my waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade Alkaline. This is just a gorgeous kind of mulberry, burgundy <laughs> eyeliner that I think would just really complement this look really well. For lashes, I'm going to be using these lashes from Baddington Lashes that I received in BoxyCharm. This is the style Monroe, and these are their 3D Silk Lashes. The packaging is super adorable, but you guys know I love my Pure Cosmetics Bombshell Lashes, so uh, we shall see how these look and what I think. <laughs> All right, so these lashes are really nice. I like how they are very lightweight. They're very easy to put on and use. Um, they're a very natural lash, I would say. Well, at least in comparison to the ones I normally wear. Um, they definitely give a little more drama than, you know, say your natural lashes would. But um, they're still, in my opinion, a very, very natural, natural looking lash. Very, very pretty, but definitely won't be replacing my Pure Cosmetics Bombshell Lashes. All right, and then for lifts, I decided to keep it very simple. I, you guys know, I'm just, I'm a gloss girl. I wanted to just keep a, a nice nude gloss on my lips, so I'm using the City Lips uh, Lip Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Nude York. And that's it, that wraps it up for this look and tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes. Mwah!